In today's video, we're taking a look at the latest NHL trade rumors around the New York Rangers and Edmonton Oilers. Plus, we're going to have some updates on the latest around the Minnesota Wild general manager search. Plus, we also have some updates on some current free agents still looking for work. We're we'll going to do all the latest coming up next. So welcome back here to Top Shelf Hockey. As I mentioned, we have a variety of things to discuss here today. I want to kick things off with the Minnesota Wild GM search. Now, the last time we discussed this, we had information suggesting that they had interviewed the first few candidates, including former Flyers GM Ron Hextall and former Bruins and Oilers general manager Peter Chiarelli. Now, there's been some new names added to the mix here. Some of these new candidates I'll mention here now already have had interviews, and some of them are expected to have interviews and are considered to be strong candidates. But the most interesting of all is current Carolina Hurricanes general manager Don Waddell, who technically is still employed with the Hurricanes, Don Waddell's contract with the Hurricanes technically expired on June the 30th, so technically I suppose he's kind of like a free agent. I guess Hurricanes owner Tom Dunnan appears to not really be overly fond of contracts uh, for anybody who works for the organization besides the NHL players. So uh, I know I've heard comments from him saying that he didn't really understand uh, why the hockey business and people in hockey operations and things had contracts. Basically, if you're considered to be like an employee, uh, he just said basically you can work there as long as we have a good working arrangement, as long as he still wants them to work for him, I guess. Kind of like a normal job. You go to work every day, basically until your boss tells you that you're no longer able to work there. You get fired or you decide to leave or, or whatever. He just doesn't really understand why that part of the hockey business uh, is uh, contract related. But that is how it's structured. So technically, Don Waddell can up and leave and go to another team uh, with no questions asked. And Tom Dundon was also quoted as saying that uh, he told Don Waddell that, that he basically needs to do whatever's best for him. If another organization is going to offer him more money and a better compensation package, that uh, maybe he should go. Like it's up to him, and he's going to do whatever's best for him and his family. And ultimately, that it would be up to him to decide. He wasn't going to hold them back. So John Waddell has indeed interviewed with the Minnesota Wild for their vacant GM position. So certainly going to be interesting on that front. I mean, I've seen further comments since then indicating that Waddell is expected to likely remain with Carolina. But it's not real common to see a current GM uh, interview with another team because that's usually not how things go. You have to have permission uh, because of contracts and whatnot. Uh, it's certainly a unique situation. Another guy who was expected to be a fairly strong candidate and whose name has been coming up a lot uh, for you know any other GM vacancies over the last year or two uh, was assistant GM with the Rangers, Chris Drury. However, the New York Rangers would not grant permission to the Wild to speak to Drury. So obviously, they're really high on his abilities and think that they like to keep him there with the new organization. So unfortunately for the Wild, they won't be able to speak with him. It is believed Minnesota will be speaking with Scott Melnery of the Montreal Canadiens. And another name that's been out there as well as Dean Lombardi, uh, who of course was the former GM with a few other teams in the past, including the Kings and the Sharks. Obviously, they have a variety of guys they're talking to. Uh, some other names out there as well as Bill Guerin of the Penguins, uh, Tom Fitzgerald of the Devils, uh, just to name a few others. So there's quite a, a wide variety of uh, people being talked to here for this Minnesota Wild GM search. So we'll see how things go. I do think it's likely going to be uh, probably a couple more weeks before a decision is made. We might be able to start hearing soon about maybe guys going back for a second interview uh, or maybe the list kind of being narrowed down a little bit further. Hard to say. Like I said before, I expect a decision to be made and a new GM be in place before September or right around uh, the first part of September at the very least. But that is all the latest names on the candidates being considered for the job as far as we know as of right now. Now, as far as free agent news, we do have an update here on free agent defenseman Ben Hutton, according to Dennis Bernstein of the fourth period.com. Now, Bernstein largely covers the LA Kings, but of course does talk about other news around the NHL as well. And it is believed that the LA Kings appear to be front runners for Ben Hutton services, although there are other teams in the mix, including the Minnesota Wild, the New York Rangers, and the Detroit Red Wings. Now, of course, right now with Minnesota needing a new GM, and they do have assistant GM Tom Curvers kind of looking after things. Not sure, really sure we're going to see a whole lot out of that organization in the way of moves. But when it comes to the Rangers as well, they're really tight up against the cap. And we're going to speak about them here further in some trade rumors regarding that team. Uh, so I'm not really sure that they'll be looking to add another defenseman. Although I can see how they might be interested in maybe adding him as a depth piece. 
but maybe a team like Detroit might be a team where he could actually get more ice time. And to be honest, I can see him maybe being a fit in Minnesota as well. Just not really sure how that vacant GM position is going to impact things. And if owner Craig Leopold is going to be wanting the guys covering here to be doing a whole lot in the way of transactions while they get this new person in place. But I guess we'll see. But either way, Benton Hutton does apparently have a fair bit of options and there's four teams in the mix to land his services as a free agent defenseman. Now let's jump over to the latest trade rumors and get started with the New York Rangers. Now, of course, Chris Kreider is the main focus on this team. We talked about him being a trade candidate here for some time. Of course, they did recently buy out defenseman Kevin Shattenkirk, which has now made them cap compliant. Uh, so they're not really forced to make a move right now. Uh, they do have about a million dollars in current cap space. Uh, so they're kind of in a better position. They're not kind of forced to rush into anything and make any rash decisions here. So based on comments from John Davidson and GM Jeff Gordon, is believed that more than likely Chris Kreider is going to remain with the Rangers throughout the summer, go to training camp with the team, and kind of see how things go. Based on both of their comments on Kreider, they both seem very non-committal on what his future would be with the team. Uh, as far as a contract goes, they said there was basically no promises, but that they expected him to be at training camp, that he's been a big part of their team, and they're interested to kind of see where things go. So obviously with a lot of the additions that they've made to the team, they probably want to see how he fits in and determine the future of Kreider with the organization, but many still believe that he more likely does get traded and that there's a strong possibility that even if the Rangers are doing well enough to maybe potentially battle for a playoff spot, that they could still possibly trade him sometime before the NHL trade deadline. Unfortunately, with the buyouts that the Rangers have made, they have a lot of money tied up in dead cap space next year, about $7.5 million between Shattenkirk and the other buyouts they've done previously. Uh, they get $7.5 million bucks uh, in their cap space for next season that's just tied up in dead space from that uh, so they do have some other ufas besides Kreider, including domestikov and i think his future with the franchise is certainly questionable as well but for right now i think the, the odds of Kreider being traded are probably slim but yeah, i can see him going to training camp and maybe being traded later but you just never know if he finds you know a real strong group playing with artemi panarin or something with the new guys coming between panarin and kako you just never know maybe they'd find a way to keep him and maybe move out another player instead but uh, right now many believe that he still likely is not with the rangers too long term let's jump over and take a quick look here at the edmonton oilers and the saga involving rfa forward jesse pulley which continues based on another article here from the edmonton journal uh, there's information to suggest that his hometown team back in finland might very well be interested in signing him should he not end up landing an nhl contract for this fall i'll show you the headline here of the article from the edmonton journal which basically goes on to say that his hometown team here of carpat in finland uh, is interested in him and here's a quote from their director of sports harry aho that says jesse is a really interesting player for us and we are following his situation so of course harry aho is the father of sebastian aho so of course they played together before in finland had pretty good chemistry and really of all the nhl teams right now that have kind of been rumored to show interest in pulieri i do think the carolina hurricanes would make a lot of sense as well so i think they, they might be a team trying to make an acquisition here. Obviously, I'm not sure what they've offered the Oilers or if they've had any serious talks, but I do think they've expressed some interest. And based on what they have on their roster, I do think he would be a pretty good fit there. If they took a chance on him and let him play with Sebastian Ajo, I could see that maybe working out. But either way, there is a strong possibility that Jesse Pugliari ends up playing in Finland again in Liga for the following year. Uh, obviously, his hometown team is interested. Doesn't mean he's going to sign. Uh, the article also goes on to reference that it's certainly not really about money it's about opportunity improving himself and obviously he still feels like we mentioned before that playing in edmonton is just not an option anymore and he really just wants to move on here get on to a new franchise it's not really about money he said if it was about money he likely would have been able to land a khl deal by now paying him probably more even than he might be able to get in liga but obviously uh, right now his first choice is to play in the nhl and he's waiting to see if ken holland accommodates and is able to find a trade for him but in all honesty it looks as though the Oilers like aren't too eager to do that i think they would realize that they're likely trading from a position of weakness they probably wouldn't get much of a return there was talk before about a second round pick maybe a prospect uh, but if he plays over in Finland, he can have a strong year over there his value would certainly increase and they might very well might be able to get a better deal for him down the road so i'm not really sure but obviously it looks as though he may have an option to go home and play in finland should an nhl contract not be reached either with the oilers or any other club obviously if he decided to have a change of heart and go back to the oilers i think he would definitely have a spot likely under second or third line at least to get things going see how it goes but it does not appear as though that he's interested in that 
whatsoever. So we'll see what happens here with Jesse Pugliarvi. So let us all your latest NHL trade and free agent rumors as well as the updates here on the Wild GM search. So let me know what you think down below. Out of all the candidates talking to the Minnesota Wild about their vacancy, who do you think would be the best candidate to fill the role of their next GM? Do you see Chris Kreider or Jesse Pugliarvi being traded anytime soon? And do you think Ben Hutton would be a good fit with the LA Kings? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments and we'll continue the conversation. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and turning on your notifications so you don't miss any future content. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I'd appreciate it if you did. As always, thank you for watching and I will catch you next time.